Africa, I've been asked today to be interviewed on the life, times and friendship of Hugh McDade and Sean Hegarty. So, um, tell me what it's like to live with Sean. Uh, it's incredibly interesting. Because every day, it's the same thing but slightly different. Some days, it's ham and cheese toasties. Other days, it's cheese and ham toasties. Sometimes there's butter. But mostly not. And would Sean ever make you a ham cheese toastie? No. What about a cheese and ham toast? Sometimes. What about both? At the same time, he tried once, but it was too complicated. It was too complex for the mild toasty maker that we have outside. It's, it's just not as large as other toasty makers. We just couldn't fit in the second sandwich. I was going to sit down, eat my dinner in peace. I remember the way you had breakfast in peace. Actually, I need salt. It's salt. I'll never get comfortable in front of the camera. Two, uh, two peanuts walking down the street? <laughs> One of the <was> snacks. <laughs> And to Sean, I know this musical career between him and Hugh has been a big part of their friendship. Do you think it's, does it show much here? Um, well, after their, you know, numerous number one hits, uh, it became quite clear that it had gone to their heads. And Sean's behaviour became increasingly erratic. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> like, <laughs> he grew the most ridiculous beard. <laughs> Is that there? Do your A minor, but just everything up one string. That's what I did. Yeah. That's not okay. You're definitely missing a few things. <laughs> that is definitely E minor. Or E. You're missing that note there. See? <laughs> I don't care. It sounds roughly the same. On a bit more serious note, though, uh, I mean, when he started smoking the cannabis, I just, I knew then that he had really gone down far in life and and, and things were, were degenerating. I mean, since Sean and Hugh were separated, I think it was just downhill for both of them. I mean, I, I don't really know Hugh, but I can only imagine what he must have been like back in the good times. <laughs> now they're mere hollowed shells. <laughs> um, right, can you remember that? So it was yes. A minor, C, C, D. It'll have to do. A minor, E. And then, is that it? A minor. Oh. Alright. So play along. And to Sean's, uh, his later mental Ill illness, did you see that coming at all? <laughs> I know you used to live together towards the beginning of it, but... Well, I think there were definitely signs of obsessive compulsive disorder. Um... Hello. 
lads. See you later. I mean, at, at exactly 59 minutes of every hour, he would make a cup of tea. Um, That's probably true. And uh, yeah, probably. Uh, part of the sort of seems to be um, putting in the milk before removing the tea bag. Yeah, I noticed that. I remember that about him too. No one understands. Yeah. No one understands. Could never get to grips with it myself. Uh, no, it just doesn't make any sense. I mean, why? Well, thanks very much, Pierce, for your time. That's no problem. Just sorry I didn't drop B from Sligo or another. No, Tipperary. No. Oh. Well. She sounded very much like my cousin, Pierce from Sligo. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 